Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to take a look at a few more of my games from the 2024 Chess.com Daily Chess Championship. Uh, but first, I was waiting for a video to upload, and uh, ever since YouTube decided that one of my links to Chess.com was a spam or scam link, uh, this has been happening whenever I upload a video. It, it's just stuck on 30 minutes left, and it's been doing this for like five minutes. My internet's fine, but but this this happens on every video now, so, so I'm beginning to suspect that they've marked my YouTube account as suspicious or or something and I definitely don't have priority when it comes to uploading anymore so that's pretty disappointing hopefully that won't affect the future of this channel but uh, again I'm just trying to learn chess and the, the channel was kind of a subsequent to that so I'm trying not to be too disappointed or frustrated with this hopefully that will just continue in the background and maybe eventually upload while I check the games oh, before I check those games it does look like my one remaining opponent has made a move here so I'm just gonna make a move in this game I kind of suspected that they would do that and one thing that I thought I would do in response was uh, bring this rook around like this um, because they can't move their knight here or here or here because of the bishop and so if I do this I mean they can get the knight out this way and that would keep me from bringing the rook up so maybe maybe I should do it anyway just to gain control of the open file if they do try to get their knight out uh, I don't think they can come after that pawn right or can they? No, they can't. Or I could continue advancing my pawns. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the rook there, and I'm going to continue advancing these pawns. That will leave this one undefended, but if they move over to come after it, I'm going to advance that one too, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, there's this one against that same opponent. I am going to uh, I'm going to try to see. There looks like my opponent made a mistake that I didn't capitalize on fairly early, and then I went ahead right here. And I'm going to try to see if that's the same moment that I knew that I was ahead, or if it took longer than that for me to know that I was ahead. Oh, I had a brilliant move. Nice. I don't have those very often. Did I have any others? Oh, this one only lasted 24 moves. Okay. Uh, I opened with E4 and I played the Vienna game. My opponent did that. And so I went for the Vienna Gambit, which is, uh, well, this says this is the Falkbeer variation Vienna Gambit. The idea is if they take this pawn, I can immediately threaten their knight. They did take the pawn and I did threaten the knight. They're supposed to put it back and they did. And here I'm supposed to get this knight out so they can't check me with the queen. I did that. They got that knight out. I'm pretty sure d4 is what I play here. I have seen this opening out to this point quite a few times. Now I'm threatening this pawn. It says they need to play d5 here, but instead they played g5. I thought I thought they were supposed to play g5. Oh, and it says I'm supposed to play d5 since they didn't. I didn't know that. I thought in a previous analysis when they played g4, I was supposed to attack it with h4. Okay, this is the point that I missed that in the graph where it said my opponent made a mistake and I didn't capitalize on it. I had to play d5 here, and it says they would have left that knight there and played g4, attacking my knight. Then I would have taken their knight, they would have taken mine, I would have taken back their pawn, and then they would have taken back my pawn. Wait, how would that have been better? I don't know how that would have been better. But yeah, I, I was pretty sure that in the past Stockfish told me to play h4 here, but I was wrong. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand how that would be better. It looks like we would both just lose a knight and a pawn, and I would be diverting one of my center pawns over there. I guess they've opened up their king a little bit, but I don't understand how that's better. So when I played this, it says it was a miss, and my opponent played a great move here. Okay, well, good job for them. They played g4. Okay, that I guess they were supposed to play that anyway, and I, I could have played knight to g5, or I could have played d5 now, or just put my knight back. Well, I played knight to g5. I thought it would be better to be stuck in front of those pawns than, I mean, you know, be from their perspective, behind those pawns, but I wasn't sure how this was going to play out. It looked like they were about to open this up. Okay, and now they should have played d5 again, and I would not have used on passant. But I guess they didn't like my knight sitting here. I mean, I'm not really aiming at that yet because I haven't got this bishop out yet, but they, they brought this knight out to defend their f-pawn. Okay, but that was a mistake, and I could, I could only capitalize on that by two different moves here. It looks like, well, one, knight g to e4. Oh, I should have come over here to get beside those pawns. Or knight to d5. Those two have flipped back and forth. Or queen to e2. Sorry, queen to e2 just looks like it gives up this pawn. Right now, my queen's the only thing defending that pawn. Okay, well, this game was more complicated than I thought it was. I thought I was supposed to take this pawn now, right? Oh, okay, that's the reason they moved that knight out is because my queen was attacking this pawn. Oh, and that's why they should have played d5, so their bishop could have defended that pawn. This knight is apparently not the best way to defend that pawn. But yeah, it was not a good move for me to take this pawn now. Well, I thought it was because that pawn was going to be the thing defending the other pawn, or this pawn was going to defend that one. I don't know. Okay, so that was an inaccuracy, and we're we're back under plus one. Okay, definitely more complicated than I thought. Again, they should have played d5, I suppose, to so that bishop could hit this pawn, or d6, 
probably the same reason, or bishop to g7, but instead they hopped this in here. Now they have two attackers on this, and see, that's I didn't know that was a mistake. I thought maybe I was overextended here, because how can I defend that pawn? If I bring this bishop back to help defend it, uh, their knight just takes my bishop for free. It says bishop to c4 is my best move. I figured that out, because it looked like I couldn't defend this pawn other than pushing it forward. It does... Oh, I still would have been way ahead if I pushed this forward. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Or I could have just taken that now. Well, I didn't know that either. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, I, I thought they were coming after this pawn, and I thought, you know what? I can th I can threaten something that will make them forget that pawn for a second. And that's why I got the bishop here aiming at f7. I did not know that it was my best move. Okay. I, I assumed that they were going to take this, and then I was probably going to castle or or try the fork down here. Again, they need to play d5. Well, now they realize that I am going after that pawn, so they brought this knight back. What would they have? What would I have done if they'd played d5? Oh, it says if they'd played d5, I just would have taken it. Okay, well, they brought that knight back, which was their second best move, so not sure why it's a mistake. Knight g to e4. That's that's this knight. Oh, I sh what? I'm not sure that I understand that. I'm not, not sure that I understand that yet, but I decided to castle because I realized this pawn now can't go anywhere. It's protected by its knight, but it... it it's going to be stuck, especially once I castle, and then I'm going to have a rook also pointed there. It did not count it as a mistake. It was my third best move. Okay, but I'm way ahead. No, I, de I definitely did not know I was ahead here. So yeah, I've apparently been ahead ever since at this point. My opponent played a6. I don't know why, except maybe they were thinking of playing b5 to threaten this bishop. It says my best move is to anticipate the threatening here and just check them with that bishop, and they would take it with their knight. That that's what this stockfish says my best move is. Take it with their knight. And then I would take, and then they would leave my knight sitting there and play d5. Uh, if they did that, I would take their queen. I, I don't think they would have played it that way, but apparently it would have been worse to play it a different way. I played my second best move here, and I have my decision process on camera somewhere, but I haven't looked at it, so I, I don't remember exactly what I thought. I think what I thought was if I take here and they take back with the knight, yeah, yeah, I don't remember my thought process. I'm surprised I played that, but I must have reasoned it out at some point. And like I said, I have that on video. I'm surprised it said that was brilliant because it wasn't my best move. Stockfish says their best move is to take this pawn. And if they had taken that, I would have played bishop to g5. Oh, protected by the knight. And then they would have taken it with their queen. Okay, I don't, I don't know if they would have or not. Wow. Okay, this was this maybe was a little more complicated than I thought. And again, I didn't know that I was ahead here. I thought I was, you know, forcing them to take. But apparently that's their third best move. So they took. And here I do remember what I was thinking because when I castled, I got my rook lined up here. So I thought if I take this and they take back because it looks free, then I can put this bishop here, which will aim at their queen while my rook has them in check. I do remember that part. So I did this. It is their best move to take back. And it's not my best move to play to play this. It's my best move to take this pawn. Okay, I did, I did see that that pawn was hanging, but I also saw that then they could immediately threaten my queen. So I thought best thing right now is to get rid of their queen, and it is my second best move. Okay, and here I knew I was ahead, right here. When they took the bishop, uh, until that point, I didn't know I was ahead. I didn't know, what would I play if they just moved forward? Oh, it says that I would have had made in one if they just moved forward. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Wow, if they had moved forward, that's checkmate. Oh my goodness. No, I, I didn't see that. I promise. I, I thought if they moved forward, then I thought if they moved forward, then I would take this pawn. No, 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 no. Sorry. I remember now. I thought if they moved forward, I was going to win their queen because it would be a skewer because they'd have to get out of check again, but they couldn't get out of check again once I played that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. I thought their mistake was taking the bishop, but I was way off and shows that I, I have a lot of improving left to do in chess. My best move is to take that pawn. But yeah, like I said, I did this because I wanted to win their queen. They have to get out of check from the rook. And when they got out of check, I won the... Oh, wow. Wait, it's a, it wasn't my best move to take their queen. Oh, my goodness. Okay. My best move is to take this pawn. And then it says they would take my bishop. Why? Why? Wait, why? Why wouldn't they block that with the bishop? I, th I thought the reason I had to take the queen here, because if I didn't take here now, they could block that. But that's not what it says would happen. Okay. Well, I took the queen now and they took back. And so now I'm only up... Oh, I'm up... Oh, they took back with the knight. It would have been better for them to take back with the king, since the king's already moved, and this knight's developed, but no, the knight undeveloped. Okay, I do, I think I do understand that. And now I take the pawn. Okay. Well, now I'm threatening a check here. I've got a rook on an open file. Okay, they, they played that move to attack my queen, and it was my best move to check here. They played their best move. It is my best move to take that pawn. My idea with this move was that, you know, my pawn is protecting here, and I thought... 
If their knight ever moved, I could slide in there and check, but I wasn't quite sure. I, I knew I could also check here. Their best move was a5. They played this instead attacking the knight. Oh, it says I have maiden four now. I, I did not maiden four, did I? Oh, I had to check here. I thought the problem with moving this pawn is that it undefended that square and I could fork and win their rook. Oh, wow. Okay, see, I wasn't thinking big enough here, but I, I definitely, I needed to check here. Wait, their, their knight is guarding that. Oh, it says their knight would take, and then my queen would take. I would give up the rook in order to get a uh, checkmating sequence here. What, what could they do at that point? Okay, that's one. That's two. They would have to go where the knight was, and I would check here protected by my knight. They would move over... And when they moved over, I would have mate with the knight. Oh my goodness. Well, that's definitely my best move here. So if this was a puzzle, so if this was a puzzle, I would have to find this. It's by far my best move. Wow. Okay. Well, I missed. I, I Like I said, I went there because I saw that the C-pawn moving undefended uh, B6. So now I have the fork. They were supposed to go to C7 where I would take the rook and check again. And then they would go after my knight. Oh, and their king would be kind of safe back there. So then it wouldn't definitely wouldn't be mate. But instead they went here. I have a maiden too, if I check down there. Well, I thought if I checked down there, they would block with the bishop. It says if I checked there, they would block with the bishop and then rook to f6 would be made. Okay. Well, I thought this was going to be a game about how my opponent let me take their queen and then chase their king around the board and checkmate them. But instead, this part of the video is about me missing a bunch of forced mating sequences. So I definitely have some work to do. I took the rook as I had planned. And I, I'm up significantly now, and I don't think at this point that I will have any trouble winning, but I also had, I, but I had no idea that I had missed all those mates. They didn't play one of their best moves. They pushed that pawn. Now I have a maiden five. I found the maiden seven, looks like, which was here. They played their best move. Here, what I saw is this bishop aiming this way. So I, play, <laughs> I played my fifth best move. I thought, you know what, I can block that bishop's attack and put them in check at the same time. It would force them to take this pawn and then I could, you know, continue checking. But that's my fifth best move. And had they not taken the pawn, they could have run away to c4 and hidden behind the pawn. But I, I guess I didn't consider that. So they took the pawn. And, and before they took the pawn, my plan was, to, like I said, to bring this rook over. And then I thought they would go this way and I would, you know, try to chase them around over there. But right before I moved, I realized this, I could just check them here now. So I did check them here now, which allows the king to go over there behind that pawn. But now my queen's cutting off this whole file, and my rook's cutting off this whole file. So this this is mate. So I, I did find a mating sequence eventually, and won this game on move 24. But yeah, I, I was surprised that the, the knight was a brilliant move, and I was surprised that I missed so many mating sequences. Okay, well let's take a look at the next game from this tournament that I was hoping to look at. Okay, th this was one of the games against Sunshine, and the, the next game after this will also be against Sunshine. Once again, it looks like I missed a couple of opportunities early on, but then my opponent gave it away. Again, I, I'm just going to guess that I didn't know how to take advantage of those, and that I didn't know I was that far ahead at that point. All right, let's see what happened. We got e4, e5. I played the Vienna game once again. This opponent did not play knight to f6. They played knight to c6. And I've been experimenting in blitz games, which... I. You know, I've, I have mentioned that I don't care about my blitz rating, so I feel free to experiment there. Here, when they get that knight out or this uh, bishop over here, instead of playing, you know, the f4 pawn, I've just been playing g3 and then fianchettoing over here, which seems to be a, not great according to the engine, but stable, and it allows me to castle relatively quickly. My opponent played one of their best moves. Okay, Stockfish had trouble deciding here, but all these moves are about the same. Knight to f3 was one of them, again, uh, planning on castling here. Now they played knight to f6, and of course now I can't play the f4, so bishop to g2 is my best move. We're very close to even. My opponent castled, and I'm says I should take this pawn. Uh, that looks like it gives up a knight, but it says if they did that, then I could play this pawn, and they would bring their bishop back, and I would take their knight, and then they would take my pawn. Oh, wow. Okay. I think I saw that once before. It looks like I'm giving up a knight, and they're like, ha ha, I got your knight for a pawn, and then I do this, and it's a pawn fork of those two pieces. And they save the bishop, and I get the knight. Okay, that I can learn from. I will try to remember that. In the past, when I ran into it, it wasn't, this bishop wasn't over here. I wasn't about to fianchetto, but the knights and bishops and pawns were in about the same place. I will try to remember that, but instead I went ahead and castled, which was very close to even. My opponent played their best move. Okay, so where's the mistake that I failed to take advantage of? Oh, it's down here by move 10. One of my best moves. Not one of their best moves, but still very close to even. H3 was my best move. They're supposed to take, and they did. I'm supposed to take back with a bishop. Now they have several moves that are all rated about equally. That's one of them. Now they, yeah, they're they attacking the bishop, I guess. I, 
Am I supposed to drop it back? Uh, it's one of my two best moves to drop it back, or I can uh, threaten their bishop. I think the problem with that is that when they take mine, uh, I'll be in check. So yeah, I brought it back, which it says is fine. And here's where my opponent made a mistake. They should have immediately played a5, or b5, or a6, or put this knight back, or put this knight back this way. Those are all moves that are fine, and there might be five more that are fine. I don't know, but the move that they played was that. Okay, I did not know that was a mistake. I, I know that it's not threatening anything because my knight's not pinned. All it's doing is, is threatening to mess up the pawn structure, which I, I I thought I was okay with. What should I have done? Oh, I should have I should have gone in there and then they would have taken it and I would have taken and I would have been ahead. Even though my pawns got messed up, I would have been ahead. I, I don't understand that. I did think about bringing the knight back this way and then trading off for their knight, but it said that would not have been good. Knight to a4 would have been fine. I didn't think so because I thought they would play the... The B pawn. What if they had played the B pawn? That's what it says. Oh, but then I would have played the C pawn and threatened both of their pieces. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I should have thought of that, that I could have forked them if they had played B4. Okay, well, I just traced, chased the bishop thinking it would take my pawn, and it, I mean, my knight, and it did, and I, I was okay with messing up the pawn structure, and I'm threatening the knight. It has to move. Oh, and this was a blunder. I did not know this was a blunder. I thought this is attacking this pawn, and I have to defend that pawn. What? Stockfish says, the only way I can take advantage of this blunder is by playing a4 and letting them have that pawn, which threatens my queen. But that's okay, because I would just move my queen over, and then they don't have anywhere to run away with the knight. So they would take this pawn, and I would take there. But then I would have two pawn islands. Right now I only have one pawn island. But I would, but I would have gone up a piece for two pawns. Okay. But yeah, that's what Stockfish says, the only way I can take advantage of that blunder. But I played the second best move, which seemed like the most reasonable, to defend that pawn. So I did. Okay, well that was my miss. It's a good thing I didn't think I was ahead here because I wasn't. My opponent played their best move. I, I don't know if that's because it prepares this or because it gives the knight a way to escape. I'm not sure. A4 and F4 are among my best moves. Okay, I did play A4, which threatens the knight, and now they can't come this way, so I guess they have to go back. Knight to C7, that is their best move. Okay, F4. Oh, I saw, for a second, F4 was at the top, but it's dropped. Oh, but they're all about the same? Oh, it's at the top again. It's kind of kind of like a race, a car race, where you're wondering which car's in the lead, but, but it is F4. Okay, well, I thought... I, I mean, F4 is pretty well protected once I get this pawn up there. I didn't see a reason not to do it, but I, I didn't I didn't know that it was my best move. Okay. It's not their best move to take, but all these are about the same. So maybe taking is very close to those as well. Yep. It was very close to that. Oh, all right. We ran into this when I had the black pieces in a previous evaluation in the game against subscriber that I felt like I didn't learn almost anything from. When they took that pawn, I was supposed to take with the G pawn and I should have remembered that. But I thought that was specific to that situation. And here, in that game, I took with the rook, and it was counted as a mistake. And my opponent rated higher than me believed that the, that, that was the turning point of the game. But here, taking with the rook is my second best move. I took with the bishop, because I didn't want to move the pawn around my king. Why was that so much better? Oh, my. The engine says there is a difference between... I should... Wow. Yeah, see, I didn't even consider taking with my g-pawn here. I mean, I might have considered it briefly, but I didn't consider it seriously because uh, that, that pawn's in front of my king, and it's kind of... I don't know if I'll ever be comfortable with that, even though it's happened twice in a week now. Okay, well, I took with I took there, and that brings us back to even. My opponent did that, I assume, coming after this, but I don't know. Oh, oh I played my best move. I have this moment on camera, too, where I'd, I had several candidate moves here. If I remember correctly, my candidate moves were pulling this bishop back to one of these two squares... The idea being that it can point out between these pawns. Um, another candidate move was that one. If I didn't play it first, I was going to play it after this so that, you know, my pawns would almost all be on light squares. My dark squared bishop would be, you know, fairly strong patrolling all this. This would be a slightly longer diagonal, which is one reason I considered that. But right at the end, just as I was about to play one of those, I thought, wait, I haven't developed my queen yet. Where can I develop it? Oh, you know what? Okay, sorry. Going back to opening principles, I haven't got my queen off the back rank yet. I know the queen is usually told to go to one of these three squares. Okay, what about here? What does that, what is, does that do anything? It protects both of these squares, but it gets in front of the bishop. I like the queen to be behind the bishop most of the time, and I, I'm not, right, I'm not threatening mate or anything. I, I can talk in circles all day, but I do want to move that bishop, drop back in just a second. So I want this pawn to be defended. I'm going to do that with the queen. Oh, hopefully this isn't bad. I, I don't like getting my queen out, but in this case, I'm not getting it out early. It's the last piece to develop right? That's logical. Oh, I'm going to let it go. And it turned out to be my best move. Okay. 
Also, it's lined up with the rook. If that knight ever gets out of the way or I find a way to trade off for it, I'm, you know, I'm pointed down here. They're supposed to drop their knight back in there, but instead they played what I was worried about, which is this. I did not know I was ahead here, but after I dropped this back, I realized I'm about to get this knight if they don't move it. And it looks like their top three moves, well, their top two moves are moving this knight, either to d7 or to d8. But instead they went here, which gives me the knight. It was, a, okay, I did know that I was ahead here because I'm going up a piece. So it looks like if the evaluation is between, you know, zero and plus two, like zero 1.5 or whatever it was, I don't know that I'm ahead. But once it jumps above that, I'm getting better at recognizing. So I did take that. It is their best move to take back, and they did, and of course I take the queen here. And now I'm up plus four. This game went on much longer, and I that it doesn't look like it's because of mistakes on my part. It just, I guess my opponent played pretty well after this. This is what they did. They went after the rook. It was my best move to defend it with the other rook. My opponent came over here, I guess, because they had already attacked this pawn, but I, I have multiple defenders on that pawn. It's one of my better moves to put this out here, threatening that rook. My idea was that right now I'm threatening this pawn with two rooks. If they move that rook out of danger, which it's not their best move to do, then I'm going to win it. What they did was they went after my bishop. Is it, It's my best move to take the rook. Okay. And like I said, I knew I was ahead here. I just didn't know by how much. They took back, which was their best move. And now, because they moved that b pawn, this, this uh, c pawn is free. So I took it. They're supposed to play knight to e8, and they did. Uh, it's one of my two best moves to, to take this pawn now, so I did. And now I have two sets of doubled pawns, but two of them are passed pawns. Uh, these two here. There's nothing in front of them, plus they can help be defended by their two friends over on the... Uh, that's kind of nice. It's a nice set of four friends. I don't remember, I don't think I was ever able to get a pawn diamond or pawn cube. But my opponent played f6. I'm supposed to play rook to e1 here. Oh, I, pl I played my fifth best move. I don't remember if that one was on camera or not. I made a bunch of little clips each day of, of me making some of these moves, but I thought if I went in here, I'm, I'm protected by the rook, and then I can kind of shepherd this guy down here. So that's what I played. I was also thinking of maybe coming around this way. H5 was not among their best moves. Okay, and here, uh, you know, they've made no move, or maybe they didn't have the ability to defend that pawn. It's my best move to bring this rook over. Okay, well, that would have made sense, but I just thought I can check and pick up that pawn. Or if they put the rook there, I can trade for it because I'm up seven points of material. It's not their best move to put the rook in front of it. My opponent moved back, which is fine, and now I can take the a7 pawn. Oh, that's my best move. Okay, now pretty pretty soon I'm going to have five passed pawns over here if they're not careful. That was actually their best move, and it was one of my best moves to trade for it. Well... Now I can get rid of that pawn. They can't protect it, so I moved over there. That turned out to be pretty good. G4 is one of their better moves to attack my structure, and taking their pawn here was one of my better moves. It's jumping around, but it does look like taking here was fine. I wasn't really worried about this. I thought, what, what if they take my bishop? I I'm still going to win, but I'm not that much of a risk taker, as if you've been watching you know, for any length of time. you know, I rarely take big gambles or risks in these games, and it does look like it's my best move to take the pawn. Uh, I just I try to play it safe, especially when I know I'm ahead, because I know if you don't play it safe, you can suddenly find yourself in a really bad position or really tough position or places with only moves and you don't pick the right one, which is why I played conservatively. Okay, they tried to hide their king back over here. Well, that just allows me to start pushing this pawn. It's their best move to take it and sacrifice the knight for it, but they didn't. They came back. That allows me to check, which protects the next square where the pawn's going to go. Went back, and then there goes the pawn. Now they're in trouble. They did play their best move, which is to go here. Oh, it's, it's my best move to promote and give up the pawn to get rid of the knight. It says my best move is to, pr to promote even to a knight, and I would have maiden five. I decided, uh... That pawn's protected where it is, so I moved down so that the pawn, when it promoted, would still be protected. It looks like now that's also made in five. They got the knight out of the way, and I promoted to a queen here. Now it's made in two. So they moved here. Oh, I should have played queen to g8. That would have forced them to go to e7, and then that would have been made. Wait, what? Oh, because the bishop. Oh, I forgot about the bishop. Oh, my goodness. If I had played queen to g8 right now, they only have one legal move because my bishop's cutting off these squares. They would have had to have come over one and that would have been mate because they can't move again. Oh my, I didn't see that. I played my fourth best move, which, I mean, I took the free knight, right? That leaves them multiple legal moves. And without that knight on the board, I don't have to worry about any of their pieces. So my opponent played here and then resigned. I'm, my, my best move is, is to give up the bishop to get it out of the way. Really? I think here I was going to play rook to f8, which, oh, it's also a maiden three. 
Wait, that, that's not F8. That's G8. Oh, that's also a Maiden 3. Okay. I wasn't going to play there. I was going to put Rook on G8, which doesn't leave them very many legal moves. I didn't know I had a Maiden 3 here, but I knew I was very, very close. And I knew that I wasn't worried about a stalemate because currently they do have some legal moves. I was going to check them so I wouldn't have to worry about that. I knew they couldn't come out here because of my bishop. Maybe they would go toward the rook, but, you know, I, I would be okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, in this game, I did not know that I was ahead when it was up. It was plus 1.3. I dropped the bishop back. They should have moved the knight, but they didn't. And that's when I knew I was ahead. Okay. That was just counted as a mistake, but it jumped from one point. That should have been counted as a blunder. It jumped from 1.3, 1.4, all the way up to 4 point something. Yeah, I think that one should have been counted as a blunder. I didn't know it was a blunder, but I, I thought, I'm going up a full piece. Okay, well, let's check the other game from this opponent. I know this video's gone on a long time already, but let's see this game and we'll run the game review. Okay, this one looks like I steadily got further and further ahead right from the beginning, even though I did have a couple of mistakes and a miss somewhere. It looks like my miss was way down there. I had a mate in five and missed it. Oh, I, I had, it took me a little longer than it should have to mate again. Uh, in this one, we got a Kiro Khan defense. Um, I, oh, that was a miss. What should I have done? Should I have taken? Oh no, I should have pushed forward. Okay. I almost never fee in Keto in the Carol Khan, but for some reason I decided to in this one. I wasn't sure what to do about that tension in the center. Now they're supposed to play d4. They play d3 instead. Now I'm supposed to play d4. Oh, but, but fee and Catoing is fine. Okay. Their best move is f4 now. Really? I do have some opponents that play the Carol Khan that way, but they got the bishop out. I attacked the bishop immediately with that pawn. It's one of their best moves to drop back to g3 but the game review counted that as inaccurate but it was one of their two best moves rated about the same oh and now i did i finally i finally saw d4 okay i thought i was doing okay here i, I thought it was close to even maybe maybe i have a little bit of an advantage because i have some space i'm i'm controlling squares on the opponent's side of the board they played one of their two best moves c5 was my best move okay and now i'm controlling even more space on their side of the board so i i did think i was ahead here and i wasn't sure by how much i thought it was probably slim because you know it's early in the game also i know that if you're not careful you can get overextended also they can chip away at this at this center here oh which is what they did but that wasn't good for them i mean obviously if they take there i can take i went ahead and got this knight out which also controls a couple of squares on my opponent's side of the board. The move my opponent played keeps uh, appearing here and then dropping out of the list as Stockfish changes its mind. It's dropped off the list again, but it was rated about the same as all those others, yet the game review counted that as inaccurate. See, the game review thinks we're at minus 2 here. I, I thought we were minus 0 0.3 or 0 0.2. I'm pretty sure I have to... Oh, I was about to say I'm pretty sure I have to defend this pawn, but that was a mistake. I should have played knight to f6 so I could castle. Or... or bishop to e6 to point at the queen or a6 i'm not sure why or bishop to d7 to undefend the pawn well i wanted to move my bishop but i wanted that pawn to be defended and right now the bishop's the only thing defending that pawn so i i don't understand why that's a mistake but that lost all my advantage and i don't understand why well my opponent has gotten all their minor pieces out of the way of their king there so they castled and that was a miss because they should have done what they should have played queen to b5 or f4 no, no, queen to b5 is the only move that takes advantage of the of my mistake, apparently. But then but then I just would have played here. It says I wouldn't. It says if they played... Oh, it's changed its mind again. Okay, so I'm not, that next move wasn't a miss then. If there's two different moves that are fine, and now queen to b5 isn't even listed up there, they needed to draw their queen back or play f4. Well, I'm still ahead because they castled, but only if I play bishop to e6 or knight to f6 or a6 or queen to a5 or a5... I didn't play any of those. I played this. I wanted the castle. Again, my opponent needs to play queen to b5. Oh, no, it's changed its mind. King to b1. All right, it, Stockfish isn't sure what they should have played. My opponent wasn't sure what they should have played either. They did play one of those top four moves, which is come over here. I had no idea that I'm up minus one at this point. And you know what? I wanted. I told you I wanted to move this bishop. And, and now my queen is protecting this pawn from their queen. And they just put a piece where I can take it. And it'll mess up their pawn structure. It's not my best move. I should have checked them. Or played bishop to e6 threatening their queen. Oh. Well, this one should have been counted as inaccurate then. I thought that was fine. Yeah, that should have been an inaccuracy. It took away most of my advantage. But I thought it was a good idea. I, I developed a piece, took out one of their already developed pieces, and doubled their pawn structure. And now I should castle or, or check here, which would force them to go to king to b1, which they were supposed to have played anyway, so I don't know why that's good. Or play b5. Wait, th this is b5, right? Can't they just take it? Their the Stockfish wanted their queen on b5 the whole time. Says they wouldn't. Says they would play king to b1. 
Well, the yeah, the whole reason I put my queen here was to protect this pawn. I'm not just going to give it away. Um, some some grandmaster can explain to me why b5 would be good here. I played that in order to play b5 without losing the pawn. But that was a mistake. Now we're even. My opponent, what should they have done? They should have developed the bishop to connect the rooks. No, it's changed its mind. They should have played h4. Or king to b1. Or bishop to g2. Or capture this pawn. But, but they pushed that. I guess hoping to lock up the structure... And it's one of my best moves to castle. Okay, where did I go at? Oh, I'm back ahead now all of a sudden. I definitely didn't know it. It's not my best move to take that pawn. It's my it's my best move to play bishop here. Check. I'm up minus two here if I put my bishop there, pinning that pawn to the king. Their king will move out of the way, and then I'll take here. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I, I just went ahead and took there. Now, when my opponent did this, I was pretty sure I was ahead. A little bit. I didn't know it was minus three. But I definitely did not know I was ahead here. Okay, again, we came up to the point where if it's less than two, zero up to two, I don't know that I'm ahead. But once it gets past two, I'm right about being ahead. I have this moment on camera here, too, where I decided to play bishop to h6. I had a couple of other candidate moves. You know what? Uh, what about this? They just uh, put their knight on the same diagonal as their king. Now, in the other game, it was the queen, right? In the other game, I think they had their queen here and their king there. What? They, they can't attack my queen with the knight if I put my bishop there. Oh, I don't know if that's good or not. But I, I cannot figure out what they would play if I put my bishop on h6. It still feels really dangerous to have this here, but they wouldn't be able to move the knight. Okay, so I did play the best move here, and it was counted as a great move, but I was pretty sure I was ahead here because I was pretty sure I was about to go up a piece. Bunch of different moves for them have about the same evaluation. They played that, which wasn't among those moves, and it's my best move to check here. For a second... It said king to b1, but yeah, taking back is fine, and I and I get the bishop. So I'm up a piece. So I was pretty sure I was ahead here, but we went on for quite some time. And I'm just going to go through here and see if we have... Oh, I had a couple of more inaccuracies, but I'm not sure about mistakes. Being up a piece helps a lot. Oh, that was a huge jump. I did see this. Because of all the puzzles with the pins, they can't move that pawn, so this pawn is free. I'm so... Oh, I'm so glad I saw that. Okay. Oh, made in 13. I did, I did not see that. I just saw that it was a free pawn. My opponent's supposed to move their king or bring their queen back. They brought their queen back. Now I have a mate in six. I did not make them in six moves. Okay. More like 13, I think. But wait, I was supposed to go to... I was supposed to check here. I thought if I checked here, they could get out. Wait, it says it says if I checked on A2, they would come here. And then I would check here. But then, then they would go back. That's a repetition. I didn't want a repetition. Okay. So yeah, Stockfish sometimes thinks that mating sequences... Uh, that include a bunch of repetitions are still mating sequences, but they're not in in the actual chess, as we know, because we've probably done it. We get a repetition and the, the game ends in a draw. Okay, their best move doesn't matter what they play, but they didn't play any of those. They played this, which gives me a mate in four if I'll play rook to a2. Oh, but what does that do? I'm not I'm not sure what that does because their queen's defending this, so I couldn't I wouldn't take it, I don't think. Or queen to a2. But but yeah, it says it again. I would come back to b3, and they would go back to b1. And then I would play rook to a2. But I'm not going to play rook to a2 because I don't understand it. So I brought this knight in here. Uh, their, their bishop's undefended, right? It's their best move to move it back one, but instead they moved it back two. Now I knew that was good. I knew that was good because now their king doesn't have a place to run away. Their rook doesn't have a place to run away. I was pretty sure that was good. Now when I go here and they come back, I don't have to repeat because I can check them there. I did figure that part out. So I played here. They have to go to C2. Oh. Well, there's my miss. I had a maiden one. Either way. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Well, I just thought since they couldn't run away, I can check them here. The problem with checking them there is that they can block with the queen. Well, I thought that was okay. I can take the queen. Oh, I should, I should have taken it with the pawn. Oh. Well, that makes sense. I should have taken it with the pawn. Oh, no. But I took with the rook. It doesn't matter. They can't take back because this pawn is pinned. And uh, they have to get out of there. Oh, it says this would have been best. Well, I just saw that my knight was guarding that pawn, so I picked up a... Oh, no, I did play that. Oh, good. Well, I played the best move then. Okay, so they, they have to block that check. Now is when I saw that the knight was guarding this bishop. I mean, this pawn, so I took it. It's another free pawn. Their king has to move again, and there it goes. Rook to f3 would have been my best move here. I, I did not know that. Or rook to a2 would have been really good. Oh, th these are all made in six. Okay, so I don't feel so bad because the, the pawn protects it there. Uh, my knight's guarding these squares. My rook's guarding all those. So they only have two choices now. They, they made one of those choices. And now I can move the knight because the pawn is protected. Did I move the knight? Oh, I did. I just, uh, oh yeah, I found a made in three here. I moved the knight. Now they only have one legal move and it's there. Oh, it says queen to c3 would have been best because that would have been mate. Well, I, 
I went for a mate in three here. I, I, you know, if they take it, I'm going to take, they have to block with the bishop and that's mate, but they took it and I went there and they blocked with the bishop and that was checkmate. I will say that I did pre-move those last few moves. I put in conditional pre-moves because I was pretty sure that once I did this, that they had to block with the bishop and okay. So yeah, I, so I have some work to do. Even though I won all of these games, and I think there's only one game, I'm, I'm only left in one game in this group, in this first round of this tournament, I'm, it looks like I'm going to advance to the next round, but these games show me that I still have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of work to do finding forced checkmates. I have a lot of work to do when it comes to evaluating positions and knowing that I'm ahead. So many of these, I didn't know that I was ahead until they hung a piece. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I will probably have at least one more update for this first round of this tournament. Thanks for spending your time here. And I'll see you next time.